Terror on a Kalamazoo Metro bus, an active shooter opening fire, injuring three passengers inside a bus in downtown Kalamazoo. News Channel 3's Maria Serrano is joining us live at the Kalamazoo Transportation Center with reaction to this tragedy. Now, Maria, you're right where it happened. Tell us what happened. I am. Police said a shooter, the shooter boarded a bus in this area. Then he started shooting at passengers inside the bus right after he went inside the train station. When he came out, police started shooting at him. Bullets flying inside a bus in Kalamazoo. I heard boom, 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 boom. Three shot after nine this morning. Mr. Oliver walked on the bus and began shooting. Mike Karish says the shooter then went inside the Kalamazoo Transportation Center. I was standing there. Next thing I look up, the shooter was standing five feet away from me with the gun. And he looked at me. And my heart was pumping. I was scared for my life. Karish tells us the suspect was walking back and forth. Police say 54-year-old Anthony Oliver did not shoot inside. When he came out, officers shot him. This video shows police rendering aid to the suspect. <laughs> Travelers surviving by train tell us they're rattled by this tragedy. We're just not safe. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's happening to our wonderful little community. It's just really sad. It's, you're going to be afraid to come down here. You're just There's fear. It's like... Everywhere you go, you just have to watch yourself now. Police Chief Vernon Coakley, who was on scene all morning, says his department is continuing to work with the community to end gun violence in the city. It's not when, but where. And this has to, we have to speak up. We have to talk about this situation in our homes, in our businesses, in our community. The suspect was taken to the hospital but later died. As far as the three victims he shot, they all have non-life-threatening injuries. A new perspective tonight on the shooting at the Kalamazoo Transportation Center. Police say a man shot three passengers inside a Metro bus before officers shot and killed him. A witness recorded some of what happened on his phone. We want to warn you, some of this video may be disturbing. News Channel 3's Chris Hugh is joining us live in studio. Chris, tell us what this video shows. Trisha, that video is from the perspective of Facebook user Tyson Driz. He says he had just walked out of McDonald's yesterday yesterday morning when he saw this unfold. Bro, what the oh. They shooting. Kalamazoo police say 54-year-old Anthony Oliver was the shooter. While a motive is unclear, Oliver's family tells me he was struggling with his mental health. The Kalamazoo Transportation Center, always busy after Thanksgiving, but Saturday, it was busy with police activity. It's like, everywhere you go, you just have to watch yourself now. Kalamazoo police say 54-year-old Anthony Oliver boarded a bus at the station, then shot three passengers. They are expected to survive. Investigators say Oliver then went inside to the transportation center, but did not open fire while in there. When he came out, officers shot him after a confrontation, according to the Michigan State Police. Oliver died at a hospital. Condolences go out to him and his family. One of Oliver's nephews, Theo Morton, told us Oliver was dealing with mental health issues and was getting help. Morton wrote, quote, I just gave him a ride to the doctor last week where he was going to get a refill on his medication. I'm just sad the last time I seen him when I dropped him off at the doctor's office and told him I love him, and now he's gone. Morton added, I do feel sorry for the people involved in this situation. I'm praying for their family also. Morton is urging people not to be so quick to judge Oliver, saying, quote, he was a wonderful father figure for his own children and all of us. Instead, Morton wants people to realize the importance of mental health. He says, quote, it all comes down to us as people to really sit there and help people with mental health issues that's going on out in the world. Everyone is dealing with issues, and it all comes down to how long you can deal with it before you blow. I checked with both Michigan State Police and the city of Kalamazoo tonight, and they tell me the investigation is ongoing, but they do not have additional details.
An exclusive tonight, the mother of an 18-year-old shot who was shot dead at a party in Kalamazoo is speaking to News Channel 3 for the first time. Our Maria Serrano spent this afternoon with the family in Battle Creek where Maria, people gathered for a balloon release in his name. Yes, they did, Jay. 18-year-old Jason Whetstone was shot in the neck and killed instantly at a party back in October, almost two months ago here in Kalamazoo. His mom says today it would have been his 19th birthday Birthday. The shooter, 24-year-old Malik Hargrave, was a WMU student who pledged to help young people stay away from violence. Happy birthday, Jason! We love you! Balloons in the sky in honor of Jason Whetstone. Family and friends say they're celebrating a young man who would have been 19 today. I'm trying to take it one day at a time. It's been nearly two months since his death, a struggling reality mom Lakeisha Whetstone has had to face. You are the reason I am the person I am today. This is a letter her son Jason wrote her in 2016. Dear mom, I just want to say thank you for inspiring. Now she's trying to stay positive and remembering the special moments with her son. As you'll never think that a parent will have to bury their child. But I did, and um, I'm just glad that I had him for 18 years. And his love for people, his love for achievement, his love for his younger brother. Police say on October 2nd, Jason and his girlfriend were out at a party in Kalamazoo. That just changed my life from that moment on. Court records show leading up to the shooting, Whetstone's girlfriend told detectives Malik Hargrave asked her if her boyfriend was from a rival gang. She said Hargrave started acting aggressively toward her, and when Whetstone approached him, police said Hargrave shot him. Jason, Jason had a lot to show the world. Hargrave, a social work student at WMU, was previously recognized by Kalamazoo Public Schools and the university for his work in the community to help others avoid violence. He portrayed to be something that he wasn't. Now, all she wants is justice for the death of her son. I just hope that he's punished to the fullest extent of the law. Malik Hargrave has been arrested and charged with open murder and a felony weapons charge. I still have not heard back from the Kalamazoo Department of Public Safety for an update on this case.